Hello there. Good morning. I am in my backyard garden reading from my Bible. And today I will read from the book of Psalms. I'll read Psalm number 19, which is about God's glory in creation and the law. And it is a Psalm of David. But before I get started, I want to talk a little bit about the plant that you're looking at. This is a holy basil plant that we grew this season in a pot. And we have other holy basil around the yard because we do use a lot of it. But this one is in a pot and you'll see it has all sorts of flowers um, coming off the top of the plant. Later today, I'll trim off all of those flowers and I will use them to make holy basil tea. We drink holy basil tea almost every day, so that's why we grow a lot of holy basil in the backyard garden. Another name for holy basil is Tulsi. I think that's actually its real name is Tulsi, T-U-L-S-I. Um, we love it and it makes great tea. Okay, back to Bible reading in the garden. Today I'm reading Psalm 19. It's about God's glory in creation and the law, and it is a psalm of David. The reading begins. The heavens are telling the glory of God, and the firmament proclaims his handiwork. Day to day pours forth speech, and night to night declares knowledge. There is no speech, nor are there words. Their voice is not heard. Yet their voice goes out through all the earth and their words to the end of the world. In the heavens, he has set a tent for the sun, which comes out like a, a bridegroom from his wedding canopy and like a strong man runs its course with joy. Its rising is from the end of the heavens and its circuit to the end of them and nothing is hid from its heat. The law of the Lord is perfect reviving the soul. The decrees of the Lord are sure, making wise the simple. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is clear, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The ordinances of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, even much fine gold, sweeter also than honey and drippings of the honeycomb. Moreover, by them is your servant warned. In keeping them, there is great reward. But who can detect their errors? Clear me from hidden faults. Keep back your servant also from the insolent. Do not let them have dominion over me. Then I shall be blameless and innocent of great transgression. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable to you, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. This ends the reading of Psalm 19.